What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the Lexington Card Show, and I'm going to say this is going to be a first for a video. I bought a lot, but it'll make sense in the long run. So my idea today was take very little with me, cash-wise, and go value box hunting. Boy, did we ever go value box hunting. So, got there a little late because I had to hit a post office up on the way to Versailles to ship stuff off, get to the show. And I, so in Lexington, it's at a, I think it's a quality inn we went to. You walk in and there's like this hallway before you get to the main room. And there's like probably about four or five people set out there. And I just see the signs, value boxes. I didn't even go inside for like an hour and a half, two hours. So I stopped at the first table. We're going to go through a lot. You guys are going to be kind of surprised. It will get good. There are two nice cards, maybe more in here. So stop the first guy's table. Don't mind these prices on it because they were all doing like 50% off sticker and all kinds of stuff. So I picked this up. This is going to be a lot of stuff for this marks are on the stuff. Leave. Um, I was just surprised. A maxi rookie. This is all going to probably go to Com C because I need to get inventory on there. Kate Cunningham rookie. This stuff's all selling on there. Moody. Franz Wagner rookie. Sangoon. I don't know how much football is in here, but there is football, Wildcat, before you uh, ask. I know you are. You're like, where's the football? It, it's in here. Bronze. So I paid half on all of these, right? And he threw all these in. Check this out. Mobley, Ray, a rookie, quarter. Sangoon, quarter. Sangoon, 10 cents. Vassell, 10 cents. Sangoon, quarter. Vassell, 10 cents, or quarter. Wiseman rookie quarter. He gave me this for free. So, I mean, it was a really good, smart deal starting off. I was like, wow, this is going pretty good, right? So, scoot down to the next table. There's a chair out and stuff like that. Value box hunting again. Guys, like, hey, I really need to sell. I got way too much stuff. I had I had an extra part of my house on. I forgot when he did it, and he said, it's just full. He goes, I already had one guy come through. Took a whole bunch of stuff. I just restocked the last, I think he said two boxes if you want to go through them. That's all right. So, again, these were all like in a box. It said something like 15 for $20. But he said, I'll work with you and give you a better deal if you want to buy more. And he really, really did in the, uh, overall. So, Iverson, rookie. Paul Molitor, bat piece from Tops. Garnett rookie. Some of this I gotta look at for grading. A freaking Peyton Manning tops rookie card. <laughs> Yoshida. I don't know what that is. Stars or something. Um Earl Thomas patch from Tops. Now some WWE stuff just because it was there and I could throw it on Com C. Spike Dudley. Christian. Enzo Amore, who got in trouble, got kicked out because of his locker room etiquette. Like I said, you're going to see some weird stuff. Another Christian Cage. Or a Christian. I think he's one by Christian there. Let me get the thing going again here. Got some sweaters. of uh, This is Trayvon Walker. Deuce McAllister. Trent Richardson. Another Trent Richardson. Stafford jersey action. Don't even know, but some golf person. For what the heck. Santino Morella. Uh, autograph of Justin Hunter. There's a lot of Justin Hunter fans out there, so I figure what the heck. Uh, we got here Rashad Mendenhall. Who remembers him for the Steelers? SPX. Rookie winning materials out of 75. I got to stack these again. Like I said, some of the stuff I'm going to look at grading. A lot of this is going to Com C. I mean, back in the day, this would have been all whatnot stuff, but yeah, whatnot takes too much money. All right, here we go. Some more stuff. Danny Gray, another sweater. I can't read. Is that Mechie? Yeah, John Mechie, sweater. Jameis Winston, relic from his rookie royalty. I believe it's uh, uh, Crown Royal. Christian Watson, jersey piece. Brandon Allen Auto, don't even know who he is. And Paul Dawson, I just took him because I had to add him into it. To, I forget what the deal was, but I had to add two cards. Let's grab two autos. All right, they put these off. Now there was more. All from the same dealer, guys. All from the same dealer. Fanimation. 
Jordan. We'll look at it. We'll see. It's probably got something on to it where it might... I mean, if it gets a 9 and it's worth it, I'll look at grading it. A uh, Peyton Manning from 99. Uh, this is... Uh, it's called Prism on there, but it was made by Pacific, I believe. Yeah, 99 Pacific. Michael Harris. Will Levis. I picked a couple of Will Levis things up just to have because I was close there. Oh, Tawny Stained Glass. Oop, that was the big boy. He said, if you want it, you can take it for half off. I said, what the heck, we'll go with it. LeBron James, victory, rookie orientation. Didn't even look it up. I was like, 40 bucks for a LeBron rookie? Raw? Yeah, it's probably high or might be right about there. We'll take a look and take a stab at it for down the road. Then he threw the Jordans in. I forget what we did on it. It was under half. I can tell you that. I'm pretty sure it was under half price. But Flair Showcase... Emotion, I know what those go for is 10s. They looked in pretty decent shape looking at them. Another flare with a 45 on to it, another flare. So I think that whole lot ran me... I want to say I think I paid 50 bucks for it all minus the Kobe. Which I just gave him the 40 on because he already gave me a heck of a deal. If I lose money on I wasn't really worried on the LeBron. But I'm pretty sure these are more than 40 but... I really only pulled out my phone for one person because his stuff I just seemed really, really high, and it was. <laughs> the example was a guy had a Tim Couch, Dan Marino, dual auto from Stadium Club. Won $200. I'm like, there's no way it's a $200 car. I show him comps, $74, Oh, man, I can't even go that far. This is like Tim Couch area. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't even come close to buying it. Have a good day. But I did buy some from him, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, this all came from one guy. So he had... It was the first, uh, second guy's buddy that was there. And he's like, I'm like, well, which boxes do I need to go through? They're like 10 cent quarter boxes. He said, all these were marked at $5, one day special, only a dollar a card. And I'll give you a deal if you buy a lot. I'm like, okay, we'll give it a shot. Man, there's some crazy stuff in here, guys. Um, Sammy Watkins, SPX, Jersey. Look at this old McGuire. This is that um, collector's choice. These were like stickers or something back in the day. Jim Tomei, star rookie. Oh, that's actually for uh, Joey. I found Tomei for him. I was looking these up, and they sell for like three, four bucks. Matt Beatty. Figure what the heck, Com C. Derek Carr, rookie. I mean, all this stuff was under a dollar. I can tell you that. He had them at a dollar, but I paid way under a dollar. Lords of the Rings, Jeff Bagwell, die cut. Um, Joe Montana, this is the gold pro line. Yeah, Josh Beckett jersey. Matt Schaub. I don't know how many people remember him, but that's the Topps Bazooka. Rookie Garnett. Chris Harper patch. This is uh, that manufactured stuff rated rookie. Kind of cool. Fred Couples, I need to look that up. I know some of his stuff sells for a couple dollars and stuff. Don't know his jersey action. Randy... Caballero, no idea who he is. Shinsuke Nakamura, WWE jersey action. This was cool. The Fleer Ultra Round Ball, Tracy McGrady. Haven't seen one of them in a long time. Uh, a couple of Evan Mobley's. Like I said, this was just one of them days where I just wanted to stock up, get Com C rolling, and man, did we ever. Barry Zito relic. Reese McGuire Blue Auto for a, under a dollar. What the heck? I mean, I'll probably get three bucks, four bucks for it on Com C. Jason Taylor, 2002. I couldn't remember if this was his rookie year, and I wasn't about to look it up since it was cheap. I was like, you know what? I'll take the chance on it. Al Horford, that's his top's chrome rookie. Uh, let me put this over here because I can't read these names that well. What says Clinton Portis? Oh, there it is. Clinton Portis jersey from 2003. Uh, Jordan, this is actually a checklist card. Tim Tebow rookie. This was... Uh, oh, oh, I can't remember the name. I'll have to go in the back now. Hey, Penny Hardaway. It says double-double. Uh, cool little piece still with the protector on it. Invincible from 99, Cal Ripken. Solomon Thomas Auto said, what the heck? This is pretty cool. The old um, Pinnacle, Jim Kelly. Don't know if it's really worth a whole lot, but under a dollar for it, so what the heck. 
Kendall Wright, Otto from Bowman Dollar, Jordan. Check out Jason Spezza, Opeachy Premier Stitching. So, I mean, it's remember uh, manufactured patch, but out of 199. Bernard uh, Pierce, Otto, Josh Hartz. I think this one was numbered. Maybe not. Purple Wave must have been out of something else. I thought it was numbered. But still, Purple Wave. <laughs> Rookie. I don't know. Just took it. Another relic. Ty Tyron. SP game used. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a different type of video, guys. This LeBron James from Artifacts. I believe this was 0708. So I think there's... Yeah, I was right. Fourth or fifth year on to it from Artifacts. So what the heck? Uh, Dennis Rodman. That's another collector's uh, choice. The stickers. This one actually looked really, really good. Um, Pat Burrell, jersey action. Another Pat Burrell piece of the bat from Fleer. Uh, Matt Hazel. Never heard of him, but took it. Griffey Jr., Griffey Sr. Splendid Fleer Splinters Family Tree. This was kind of cool when I found it. Tony Gwynn. Hollow Facts. And I believe it was by Upper Deck. Yeah, Upper Deck did this one. Future Game. Pretty cool die cut. A lot of high, die hard wins. Check this out. Freaking Derek Jeter rookie from. Hold on, I gotta read what's from here. Flicks. 96 Flicks. And I wanna say this was done by Pinnacle. I don't have the magnifier out, but I believe that's like a Pinnacle logo down here. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I found out in a box. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Crazy stuff. Evan Mobley again. <laughs> Where I was paying 10 cents and I paid under a dollar still for him. This was cool. Still in the wrapping. Um, Stat Smasher from uh, Wild Card. Who remembers the old Wild Card? Emmett Smith. Eloy Jimenez relic from the Christmas stuff. Chris Bosch, rookie. Eli Manning, rookie. Jerome Bettis, upper deck rookie. Albert Almaro. I don't know if he still plays or not. I just remember the name from Bowman Sterling. Isaiah Spiller, auto from Wild Card. Jose Devers, uh, Topps rookie auto. This was a sneaky one. Topps Black Gold, O'Neal Cruz. Kenny Pickett. Dirk from EX. Uh, I can't read the name. Hold on. Darren. I can't read the last. Is it Erstad? Earth, Earth Earth I don't know. Bat Relic. It, it, what's weird is like on Com C, people look for this stuff because it goes onto eBay for sets and that and pick it up and it sells. Uh, Joe Montana from Upper Deck, The Powerful Moments. Another Jordan, that's the checklist, but just a cool looking Jordan. Uh, Shaq Total D. Corral Rookie Sweaters. Another nice Shaq card. Like I said, a lot of stuff I want to look at for grading just to see if, I mean, if I could find a couple tens in it, it's like, boom, big money. Well, it means bigger money I make, not like huge money. It might be like a $50 to $100 card. O'Neill um, Hardwood Leader from 96 97 Fleer. This was kind of cool, and I wish the sticker was there, but it's Emmett Smith. Um, it's from Playoff, where he's holding up the football and everything onto it, but it's fantasy football. This was from 1994. Not too many people remember that card. Topps Gold, Dan Marino. Back when gold was just that. <laughs> Bailey Curry, some racing guy, driver, auto, some Jordan. Rick, oh, that goes to Brian. Ricky Henderson, I found a box. I knew there was a couple I picked up for some collectors. Wade Boggs. Um, I don't know. It just looked cool. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Might be, you know, a bust. Julio, rookie card. Another Derek Jeter. This is from, I want to say it's 02 Masterpiece. No, 09. I think. No, 07. 07 masterpieces, but something different. Stafford rookie. Something there. Marshall Falk from Classic. This was actually number 20, 2024 out of 4495. There we go. Let's just spit it out right. Another Shaq insert. 
Dan Marino from Edge. Uh, nope, not numbered. A couple more Stafford rookies. Another Derek Jeter card. It said um, Speed Merchants. It's from Skybox. It was an insert. Not too sure about it, but took a chance on it. Matt Ryan, rookie. Bledsoe. This is cool. This is the printer's proof. One out of seven, uh, 725 from a classic. Uh, Jordan Peace. Jordan Peace. T-Law. This is the uh, photogenic. DeJounte Murray rookie. Antonio Brown rookie. And another Jordan. So all those, I think there was 88 cards. He gave me a deal on it all. On top of all you had to pay, like, what originally would have been $88. It really hooked me up, though. I was really happy with that. I mean, there's so much room when you could buy like that in bulk. And even if you make, like, if, say I made a mistake and 20% of the cards ain't going to sell for, you know, what I need it to be at from what I'm in it for, plus, you know, the 50 cents at Com C, then I just hold them. You know, hey, you live and learn. Take gambles on stuff. This is the last card. Remember the guy I was talking about with the Tim Couch and Dan Marino Dual Auto? Pick this up. Bowman, um... Dwayne Wade. This is from 2009. They were doing between 70 and 90, and the guy's like 85 because he wanted 100. I'm like, dude, I'll give you 80 in the middle of comps. I actually paid comp or value onto the card. Figure I'd take a chance. It looked pretty well center. Maybe set it out to be great. I didn't take it out of the case or nothing. I was like, oh, we'll give a chance to add to it. So, yeah, a lot of stuff that I did pick up was, uh, just value box diving. I mean, realistically, I'd probably say... I don't know, maybe I paid like 50 cents a card, roughly, when it was all said and done, minus the Jordan inserts of those four, the LeBron victory rookie, this card... The freebie... Well, if you take the freebies in there, too... Yeah, everything else was just a bulk rate discount. So every now and then you walk through that stuff. Um, a lot of guys just have it. They've been hoarding it for so long, and they'll tell you that. They just want to move it and sell it. I even, you know, drop my business card there. Maybe you'll call me, come down, pick up stuff later on. But, I mean, there's a lot of work to this stuff, really. I mean, if they're doing eBay, they got to take pictures of it. Then they got to send it, ship it, and all that. It's a lot of work. For me, a lot of the stuff can just go to Com C, sit on Com C. I can just update prices every so often onto it and move on from it. Um trying to think here. Overall, really good day. Like a lot of the other dealers had some nice stuff, but I just knew I didn't want to sit there and play the game with them, especially when you look at like a Will Greer auto that sell that they have stickered at some stupid high price. I'm not gonna ask anything else in your case you know, type deal. But by the time I did walk into the actual show floor, half the dealers are already closed up because of the college football games, um, there were dealers looking to sell. Uh, kind of like to do the value box thing today. It was kind of nice, kind of different. Like I said, I think it, just to get the Com C rolling for next year, I might do more and more of this. I want to say value box wise, maybe a hundred ten dollars for it all. Now it's not taking the LeBron, the Jordan Inso certs, or the Dwayne Wade into it. So I mean, to me, I liked it. It was a success for me in the long run. Gives me a lot of stuff to go through. Look at maybe some of it gets graded here coming up. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the value box thing? I was going to have a camera go and look it through it all, but I think you would have got bored when I started going through probably five, six thousand cards plus, maybe even close to ten thousand today. That might have been a boring video. <laughs> all right, guys, I appreciate your time watching. It was a little bit longer of a video. You guys have a good week. I am out.